Hey guys, you're watching Jay's Two Cents, and recently we did a video together talking about Cherry MX switches and the different colors and what they mean, what they sound like, and what they feel like, which has armed you to understand what we're going to talk about today, which is all about the CM Storm Quickfire Ultimate Mechanical Keyboard. This thing's pretty cool, so let's go ahead and open it up and take a look. Today we are taking a look at the CM Storm Quick Fire Ultimate Fully Backlit Mechanical Keyboard. If you're not familiar with CM Storm, it's Cooler Master's gaming line of products for PC gamers. Some pretty cool stuff. Now this is a fully mechanical keyboard, which means every switch on here from the escape key all the way down to the end key is mechanical. Now this particular model is the Cherry MX Brown with clear backlight. Now this keyboard is available in a variety of different switch colors, and the switch color is going to pretty much determine what the backlight color is. So the Cherry MX Green will have a green backlight, blue with blue, red with red, and then the brown has the white LED as will the clear. So if you haven't checked out my mechanical gaming keyboard video about all the different switches, then you're going to want to go and check that out so you know exactly what the different switches mean. Now on the front of the box here, you have a nice little graphic of what the keyboard looks like. This is a full keyboard with 10 key, however, it does not have any macros. Now on the back of the box here, we have some information about the keyboard that it is fully backlit, that we do have six key and N key rollover, and we do have function keys built into the F keys for multimedia like play, stop, rewind, fast forward, volume up and volume down. Now there are three backlight modes when it comes to the lighting on this keyboard. You have got uh, fully backlit where every key lights up, it has a gamer mode where the WASD lights up, and then it has a breathing mode where all LEDs light up but slowly fade in and fade out. Uh, I do wish it had a programmable, programmable mode where you could choose which keys you want lit, but unfortunately this keyboard does not have that functionality. When it comes to backlighting, you do have five levels of brightness so you can fine tune it how bright you want it. Uh, and of course it has no backlight mode where you can turn off the backlight altogether. Now the keyboard does feature a built-in embedded steel plate to give the keyboard both rigidity and weight, which gives it a really nice solid feel. I mean, there's absolutely no flex whatsoever in the keyboard. In fact, I have already got the keyboard out and I can demonstrate that for you right now. If I take the keyboard and I really try and twist this, I really can't. It's very, very sturdy and as you can tell, there is no creaking sound. What you're hearing is my hand slipping on it. So it's very, very solid. All right, now before we talk any more about the physical properties of the keyboard, let's go ahead and take a look at what comes inside the package. Inside the box, you're greeted here with a nice plastic cover on top of the keyboard, keeping the keys nice and safe. And the keyboard is sitting in this protective sleeve. You have your key puller for pulling off the keys on the keyboard. You have a nice gold plated USB cable here that is braided. So it gives you a nice uh, clean look for your cable. And you have your manuals that come with this. It talks about the right way of installing the USB cable. Hopefully by now everyone knows how to do that. And then you have your product manual that talks all about the different functions inside of your keyboard. Do's and don'ts and it comes in quite a few different languages. So you should be covered. Okay, so when it comes to the physical properties of this keyboard, you may notice that it is quite a bit thicker with a higher profile than many other keyboards on the market. There are some other keyboards out there that have a much lower profile. Uh, there is no rest wrist included with this. In fact, there's not even the uh, spots to add one if you wanted. That disappoints me a little bit because I do like a wrist rest with my keyboard. But the moment I hooked this up, I had absolutely no problems immediately typing with it and I wasn't missing any keys. I actually found it quite a pleasure to type on with these brown switches. Uh, when it comes to the uh, front here, also you have this nice little design that's kind of built into the plastic there, so that's pretty nice. Uh, on the side here, uh, you can see where you have the channel for the USB cord to come out. Same thing with the other side, as well as the back here. You have a USB slot on the back, as uh, or channel for the cable, as well as this nice uh, design built in as well, just giving it some nice uh, aesthetics to it. Now on the bottom here you can see where you have the multiple channels here to run your cable so you have lots of options here of where the cable comes out you're not stuck to just the back and I do really like that the cable is detachable. 
Now taking a look at the cable up close, you can see that it is gold plated and it does have a very nice uh, high quality braid on there that's going to keep the cable nice and secure and protected and just look really cool on your desk at the same time. Continuing on with the bottom of the keyboard, you can see uh, right here that you have four very thick, very sticky uh, or nice and you know frictiony feet on here made of rubber that are not going to let your keyboard slide all over the place. Uh, that's a really cool feature. But what Cooler Master did to make it even more secure is if you like to flip the feet up like some people do and have a more you know upright position of your keyboard, the ends of these feet are also rubberized as well so that you're not gonna be dealing with plastic uh, and rubber causing it to slide around more. So it's still gonna be nice and secure. One thing I wish that Cooler Master would have included would have been some sort of built-in uh, USBs uh, some people use wireless mice and they may like to stick a little transmitter in the back of the keyboard. At least that's what I would do to keep it nice and close to the mouse for a good reception. Um, but, you know, again, at the price point that this keyboard is currently at, the it's something I can certainly live without. Uh, it would be nice to see that included, though, in a model uh, here in the future. Now, the key puller is really easy to use. You literally push it down over the key and pull it up. It's just that simple. It pops the key right off, as you can see, and you can even see that it's a brown switch in there. And what makes this feature really nice is it makes the keyboard just that much easy, easier for cleaning. Now, the keys on this uh, are very nice. They all felt nice and uniform. No switches felt like they were sticking or anything. And I did find it uh, very easy to type on. It was uh, aesthetically pleasing, the position of the keyboard was good, and I had no problems going right into various games and typing on, in Word or the internet, and I wasn't missing keys. It was, it was actually very pleasant to type on. Uh, as I mentioned before, this is a 10 key, so you have all of your extended uh, 10 key functions here and uh, you know, your keypad, but there are no macro keys, so keep that in mind. Now, when you look at the backlighting on this thing, it's very uniform, it's very even. Each key has its own individual LED, so it's very pleasing on the eye and it looks really, really cool. I like the different backlighting functions that are on this keyboard, but as I mentioned before, I do wish you had a programmable mode so that you could set which ones you wanted to backlight and which ones you wanted to be dim or turned off, uh, you know, based on your style or whatever fits your needs. But again, it's one of those things that uh, even though it was available on my previous keyboard, I never used it anyway. I always left all the backlights on uh, so that it was nice and blingy on my desk. But I really do like the backlighting on this. It looks really amazing. It's, it's fun to type on. I actually look forward to typing on this keyboard. Um, but I think that's because it's just aesthetically it works for me. I have long fingers, so I don't mind that it's a little bit taller. But when it comes to the looks of this keyboard, it definitely is going to turn some heads. If you take this to a LAN party or something, uh, people are definitely going to ask you, hey, what keyboard is that? And then once they start typing on it, they're going to be really excited and want one for themselves. I know uh, I have had multiple keyboards, quite a few of them, and I was really excited to plug this one in. And I've used all the other brands. I've used SteelSeries, I've used Razer, I've used uh, Corsair, and I really love this keyboard. In fact, this is now my main keyboard. There you have it guys, the CM Storm Quickfire Ultimate fully backlit mechanical keyboard from Cooler Master. Make sure you guys check it out this holiday season. It is definitely worth a spot on your desk. And as always, if you've enjoyed this video, you know what to do with it, hit that like button. And if you stumbled across my channel, I hope you stick around and I'll see you guys next time on Jay's Two Cents.